I am making another driving to work video, though this time I'm driving home from work. Uh, it's Friday and I'm excited and I'm with my main man Ludwig. What's up Ludwig? What's up Ludwig? Ah, okay, here we go. Anyway, we're in traffic, I better pay attention. Um, and I'm just gonna jump right into it. Yesterday or two days ago, I made a video about Screen Junkies. It's a YouTube channel, you can check it out, but basically I was just talking about what happened to them recently. They had some uh, rough times, their boss got fired for sexual harassment, and uh, I made the video about how everybody handled the tough situation, like in the working environment and in terms of making entertainment. Um, and I wasn't trying to claim that, that, that I wasn't trying to say anything about why he got fired. Um, I didn't mention it because I thought it would be a distraction from what I wanted to talk about. And two, I don't, I don't really know the details, so I just didn't mention it. Um, but most of the time I get more thumbs up, so I just, maybe I just wasn't clear. And uh, now I'm a little bit butthurt because I love Screen Junkie so much, and my first one where I talked about him, um, it didn't, didn't, you guys didn't like it. So I'm going to try to rectify the situation. And uh, this time I'm just going to talk about movie fights, which which to me is a very important piece of the of the media that they produce. Um, Honest Trailers is the engine that started all of this, of course. It's very shareable. Um, and same with Hal Rudnick's show, very, very shareable. Um, movie fights is a little bit of a different beast. One, because they're very long. It makes it hard to share. If somebody told me to watch a YouTube video that was an hour and a half long, I'd be like, dude, you know, I haven't seen Lawrence of Arabia or something. You know, there's other stuff I can watch, so I can see why it's, it's tough to share, to share, and in general, it was kind of a novelty at first, nobody thought to do that, and their numbers were going down. Um, and then their numbers keep on going down ever since Andy left, and, and they, redone the, they redid the format. Now, I am convinced that they're going to get it back, and I think that there's no way that they could compete with the numbers that they're getting right off the bat. Um, but today I want to talk about movie fights, but in a making entertainment standpoint and not what I saw in talking about the episode yesterday. You know what? I'll just do both, actually, because I think that's what you guys want to hear. Um, yesterday's movie fights, we had Nicholson versus Mance. Um, I will give it a C-. minus. Um, C- minus because Mance and, and, and her are in two different intellectual categories. Mance is a... If he's, he's very entertaining. I think he's got a great personality, but out of I've never heard him say anything interesting. Um, knowing the dates of movies and, and what, the, that they came out at is, you know, facts most of the time are not interesting. It's just it's just a fact. And knowing facts isn't interesting. So uh, anyway, and then you have the complete opposite, which is which is Nicholson, who is interesting without even trying. And she's so interesting that that she has to put humor in everything she says just to make it fun for her. Um, so I thought it was a little bit, uh, oil and water in terms of the guests, but anyway, it was a fine show. Um, I thought Mance won the second round hands down when he s called her out and said, well, that actually wasn't a snub to Justice League because nobody thought that, that they, that it deserved it or even, even in the cards of getting there. So, um, Mance won that argument right then and there. And that is a good example of where it's good to be a level one thinker because he sniffed that out immediately. Um, Though the mental gymnastics that that Nicholson um, used to make her point was amazing, it was brilliant. Um, she, she got me as a, as a subscriber. I mean, I knew who she was, but for some reason, never put her and YouTube together. Um, so she got a subscriber out of it, but she lost that argument. And overall, it's just a, a pretty good episode. And uh, now that I've I was listening and, and listening to the format, I have more to say about movie fights because I think how they do this is going to be very important. Um, because I would love to see movie fights as strong or even stronger than it ever was. So, um, right off the bat, I said that two contestants... Okay, so the first thing I'm going to say is is there's there's one thing that I saw yesterday, and, I, and I've seen it before, and uh, it's a little bit what Mundy used to do, which is... And this, I think, is, is toxic to the show itself, though in the long run. You might not notice it right off the bat. I mean, I think there's things that they can change in the short run that they should do now. I'll talk about those in a second. This is, to me, what turns me off the most to movie fights, and that is um, when, and, and having two people and not three makes it worse. And that is, the people that they get on the show, I mean, they're comedians, most of them live in L.A., and they're just actors that don't, I mean, they get work, but they're, they, they came to L.A. to be actors, and now they're doing other stuff. And what happens is, is, we are there to listen to people argue about movies and off the top of their head, and, and the humor comes off of the, the spontaneity of the show, and when there's three people and then you have to go fast, that's mainly all you get. Um, 
Now, when you have two people, and uh, I saw the one with uh, with uh, the, the, the with uh, hashtag Botanicus, and I mean these guys are entertainers. Um, I I saw what I would call stick, what I saw their own bits, and uh, it, and and it took away from movie fights. So if, if you are kind of forced, you show up to listen to movie fights, and now you have to hear uh, middle tier stand up comedy from some guy that you don't even know. Um, now I think these guys are great. I love them all. And do I think that they're doing that purposely? No. Um, Mundy, back in the day, um, he was very funny. Um, but when he did Girl of Thrones, um, he didn't do that to add value to the show or to even really argue it. He did it to be funny. And, and that is more of a, of a, of a, of a not self-promotional, it's just a, it's just a person, it's just a, and selfish isn't even the right word because they don't know they're doing it. It's just, it doesn't add to the show. Um, and, and then, but I know that Mundy's brilliant because then he came up with, with, uh, with the uh, prequel to, um, uh, Back to the Future, the same show. So, I, they, the reason that he annoyed me a little bit was because he kind of knew what he was doing. And I think just with two people at the podium, you're just going to get more people doing their own thing and not actually arguing the movies in a spontaneous way and just kind of giving, giving us their material. And, uh, it, you know, sometimes it's hard to tell when they're doing it, but I can tell when... Um, something comes up, if somebody responds to somebody in a way that appears to be a non sequitur, um, where he's not actually responding directly to what that person said, um, they're probably trying to lead into their, into their material. Um, it'd be the equivalent of you going to your girlfriend's parents' house, um, for the first time you're meeting him, and then you find out that he loves fly fishing. You know, the dad loves fly fishing. So, you know what, you're just gonna get a couple lines ready in case fly fishing comes up, because you know it probably will. And, and I, that's just what I see out of, out of, out of it sometimes. And I think with two people, it's even worse. And even with Nicholson, that, that Justice League answer was bad. Um, but she was hilarious and it was great. And she got a subscriber out of it, but it didn't add to the show itself. Um, that's one. Two is three fighters is better for a few reasons. Um, but you know what? I'm willing to give the two fighters thing, uh, two fighters, uh, more go, more runway. Um, but to me, the issue is the number of questions. Um, it's to me, not enough. Now I was thinking, well, why would they do that? Well, there could be a practical reason to it. One, you try to think of 15 good movie questions that they could fight over on movie fights. Just come up with 15. It's much more difficult than you think. And they have to do it every week and they've already been doing it multiple years. So just from the practical standpoint that, you know, there's just not that many movie questions. Um, though I would like to tell them, or if anybody's listening, um, you can do repeat questions. Like, for example, the one episode with Kumail and the guy from The League, um, Kumail and the guy, they were so great at the end of the episode, and if you notice that, you'll notice that they didn't make it about themselves, they made it about the actual fighting the movies, and that's what, what you want. Um, but at the beginning, Kumail, it took him a little while to get warmed up, and I don't think that he fought for Titanic very well in the best James Cameron movie. Um, and honestly, I don't think Spencer did a great job either. So for a question like that, run that one back. Um, there's still meat on the table. So if, if the reason why you're going to, to less questions is because you're running out, you know, you can recycle them. It's the internet. People don't pay attention or they, they won't notice. Um, but to me, that's the, 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 the worst thing about it because now all of a sudden we have a movie fights winner that is based off three questions. Um, one of them is a blind fight. And, and it's just not enough, it's not a big enough sample to really actually get a winner. Now, people can say, oh, Andy, I mean, if, as long as Andy's picking the winner, um, then it's not fair. Uh, well, once everything played out over the years, um, I would say in general, he did a really good job of, of, of picking winners. And, and there was some weight to the winner. Um, there were six questions, there was a bunch of speed round questions, and people had to go through hell to win absolutely had to go through hell to win and that's what made it good and that's what made the belt matter and that's what makes it competitive and that's what gets the most out of everybody um as soon as you start like 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 basing it off three questions anyway uh, the, more questions is better because the because there's more chances for the judges to get it right and actually get a good winner um and that also takes me to the judging um now i know that on paper it's a good idea to have to have three judges and, and have like the internet solve one but one if you don't have to say why you're picking something um it shouldn't count like i love the idea of the internet being the people's champ 
Um, but having no weight in the actual show itself, I think that's good. But if you are on the fan cam, you are allowed to, 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 to weigh in because you have to give a reason. I don't know. I like the, the, the fan cam thing was great. Um, but in the end, I think Dan Merle needs to make the final decision. And if there's anybody that I trust more and maybe even more than I got to get over it, even more than Andy Signora was Dan Merle on making a good decision and weighing what other people tell him. Um, honestly, having Hal Rudnick, um, judge around in movie fights is, is unacceptable. Um, yesterday or today when I was listening, I was trying to pay attention to like why he was giving people points and it made no logical sense whatsoever. And I think he contradicted himself and I don't know, Hal Rudnick, I love him. He's great at doing the on camera with a microphone, want to be an actor kind of guy, but thinking off the top of your head intellectually, maybe not his thing. So how, I don't know, I, I was hoping that I could watch the episode and then tell you guys I was wrong on everything. But if anything, I just saw what I didn't like about it even more. How Rudnick's great, he's just not a judge. He doesn't get movie fights, he never has. And honestly, I don't think he knows the difference between beliefs and opinions. Um, and that matters. Well, what's a belief and what's an opinion? Well, it's, it's, there's a difference though, it is hard to tell. Um, but a good way to judge is if you're saying something, um, a belief, and what's a good way to put this? Um, an opinion is, all these words are conflated now. Um, most of the time people think that, 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 that opinions that are true are facts. And no, an opinion is an interpretation of facts. Um, and it's an honest in interpretation of facts where you put a fact on the table and then you kind of frame what you're saying and then you have your opinion. That's an opinion. Um, a belief is not that. A belief is is a conviction based on your gut and or your cultural beliefs or, or where you come from or what you see in life. Um, that's a belief. Anyway, um, Nicholson, loads of opinions. Mance, not really any opinions. Um, there's a difference. And I just don't think we can have a judge that doesn't, that I don't think actually knows the difference. And now I'm going way over 10 minutes. And man, you know what? Of all the of all the videos I'm making, I mean, I'm doing Lakers play-by-play -play videos um, live, and that's easier to do than movie fights. Now I'm in 12 minutes, and uh, you know what? The thing that I like the most on YouTube and why I'm even making videos, which is screen the, the Vlog Brothers, the Hank Brothers, but also Screen Junkies, and I can't even make a coherent Screen Junkies video. Um, anyway, I'm way over 10 minutes. I'm at 12, and uh, it's Friday, so uh, yeah, everybody have a good time, and uh, say bye, Ludwig. Ludwig. Say bye. Looking out the window. Say bye. All right. Well, anyway, thanks for listening. And Screen Junkies, I really love you. And uh, I'm criticizing you only because I care so much. Um, I really cared. I don't know why. It's a damn YouTube video series. Um, but I mean, I'm. I don't know. I just, I just love movie fights so much. So I just really hope they get it right. And honestly, I mean, honest trailers is funny. It's all good, but for me, movie fights is the most important. Um, so I just hope they get it right. Um, screen junkies, I love you.